Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. I've got an exciting series of videos coming out for all you guys that have either bought the Electroglide Standard or Electroglide Police. We get a lot of calls and a lot of people wanting to know about those bikes, how to add audio to them and everything necessary. So we've done a video in the past on the Electroglide Standard, but in front of me here is an Electroglide Police. We didn't have anybody locally with one, so Volunteer Audio bought one. So this is gonna be our new demo bike. We're gonna do a whole series. We're gonna call it Project 5.0. So hang out as I go over this bike, what we're gonna be doing to it, so you can make sure and check out the rest of the series as we do each one of the upgrades. All right, so in front of me, I have a 2014 Electroglide Police. Now, I think these bikes are an amazing value. You can pick these up in the low teens with relatively low miles, and normally they're very well maintained. Uh, but because of that price, it allows you plenty of room to do all the things you want to do to make it yours. So this particular bike is the high output 103 engine. Uh, very, very clean bike, looks to not have any holes or extra wiring or modifications done. Now we'll find out more as we tear it down and we go through this series. But this is the bike that we're gonna be taking around to a lot of events coming up. Uh, just a couple weeks from now, into September, we're gonna be at the Hog Rally at Smoky Mountain Harley-Davidson. We'll be there September 27th through October 1st. And in the spring, we're planning on being at Daytona at the Spring Rally. So you can check us out there. And we're gonna build this bike and have it on display so you can not only listen to the audio, but see some of the other upgrades we do to it at each one of these shows. So let me tell you what I have planned. Uh, first off, you know we love audio. Uh, and as you can see, this doesn't even have a radio factory. So I'm gonna show you how to add the wiring for the radio, because it's not even in the bike. We're gonna upgrade the front speakers. We're gonna put a set of Hertz SX165neo speakers. We're gonna do the Soundstream Reserve HDHU14 radio. I'm gonna show you how to change the thumb controls, how to get the right one so it works, along with some other wiring in the bike that you have to repin and move to make these work properly on your police bike. So we're gonna go through all those steps to try to make the audio easy. Now on top of that, this bike is white. I love white vehicles. I've got a whole fleet of them. Uh, I like them because they stay clean looking even when they're dirty. Uh, and a lot of times we work so much we don't have time to keep them clean. But I've reached out to Advan Black and we're hoping to do a color change on this bike. Now, you know, I just said the bike's white. Why would I do a color change? I love white bikes, but there's some other things I wanna do. We're gonna probably do a wraparound front fender. We may do some extended CVO style bags. There's some accents and things I wanna change, and we're probably gonna put it into one of the pearl whites. So there's a couple different options we'll go over at that time. But Advan Black now offers an entire bike you can buy every panel pre-painted in something like 70 different colors. So you can do a complete color change just by buying panels from them, changing out the gas tank, the fenders, the bags, the front fairing, and it's surprisingly very reasonable in cost. So something you could do on your own and hopefully we can encourage you and show you how you could do that. Now, we're also gonna upgrade the lighting. I need some custom dynamics lights on this. We're gonna bring it a little bit more into the future, make it look better, clean it up some. I want things that are bright but also very clean as far as looks go. Uh, as you see, I've got it set up here on our Let's Roll jack system. Uh, so we're gonna be working on this jack and I'll do a video coming up where I'll show you everything about how you set it up, how you use it, and see if it's something you may wanna add in your garage for when you're doing work. Very handy, you can move the, uh, the front forks around, work in the fairing uh, without worrying about it falling over on you. Extremely stable. Once we get done with those things, we're also gonna change the bars. I mean, come on, you gotta have some different bars on here. So we're gonna get something a little heavier duty, uh, show you how to install those, go through that process. Along with, this is a 14, so our rear bags, you know, we're gonna do this huge audio upgrade. We're gonna put the new Hertz SP4.900 in it. So that's that super powerful new Hertz amplifier, Hertz Neo 6.5, Hertz Neo 6x9. It's just a four speaker build. I want you to be able to come listen to an amazing system that's very affordable also. Uh, it's gonna be something you're gonna expect there's six or eight speakers hidden somewhere, but there's not gonna be. But back to what I was gonna get at. It's got the 14 bags. I love the bag design, but 14 to 17, we had those quarter turn twist locks and your bags have a tendency to wanna to fall off. So we're gonna put the Robert Becker designs uh, bag locks on. Uh, they're gonna actually have a threaded post instead of a quarter turn, along with we're gonna do a new seat. And when we do that, we'll put Robert Becker's uh, seat lock system on it as well. So you can see that. So, gonna also have to do some exhaust. So this has some tab performance, doesn't sound bad, it's a pretty good sounding bike, 
but we're going to upgrade it to some Chromeworks exhaust. Uh, the guys at Chromeworks are great. They make a great product. I love the tone of their exhaust. So the plan is to upgrade that exhaust as well. And one more thing on the list, and I'm sure there'll be many more that we'll go through as we get through the series. Uh, but Kenwood has an amazing camera system. It's a DVR system. We're going to mount their front camera and their rear camera. So while we're riding, hopefully we can get some footage, show you some of the beautiful places near us. God's blessed us to live in East Tennessee in this valley here right outside of the Smoky Mountains. We've got a ton of great places to ride. Hopefully we can take you there, show you that, that footage, and that Kenwood camera will be a big part of that. Uh, and I want to show you how to install it as well. So please watch the series. Uh, subscribe to Volunteer Audio. If you got a police bike, this is going to be some invaluable information. You're going to want to see everything we're doing on this to help you as you do your upgrades too. So if you don't have a police bike and you have Electroglide Standard, I'm also going to touch on your bike as well and explain some of the things that are needed to do the same upgrades to it. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to Volunteer Audio. Share the video. Comment below if there's anything else you want to see us do. Uh, we may do a bigger front wheel, maybe a, a 21 or 23 fat tire conversion. There's some other thoughts I'm throwing out there. I love the look of the fat tire. But we also don't want to go just completely nuts. It is a very budget build police bike. So we're trying to keep it kind of reined back. I always want to spend more money. Uh, that may not be long term a good idea for a, a, a resale value in the future. But subscribe, watch, comment below, share with your friends, and definitely watch this series as we move forward. God bless. I hope you have a wonderful day.